Crazy Horse told his people he would return to them in stone. It all started with one man, born around 1840 near Rapid Creek on the edge of the Black Hills in South Dakota, the future Lakota leader was raised in the traditional ways of his people. From an early age, the boy was trained as a warrior for his tribe. His father was known as Crazy Horse, but the boy had to earn his father's name. He started out as Curly. After proving himself in the battles, the young Lakota finally earned to be called Crazy Horse. The Lakota warrior was fearsome in the battles and protective of his tribe. Crazy Horse fought to preserve Native American territory and the traditional way of life of the Lakota people. In 1877, under the flag of truce, Crazy Horse went to Fort Robinson, Nebraska. Negotiation broke down. As Crazy Horse was taken to jail, he resisted and drew out his knife. One of the military guards fatally wounded him. Crazy Horse's parents transported their son's body and buried it in a sacred place, the exact location of which remains a secret to this day. The sculpture would not represent just one leader, but stand as a great symbol for the spirit of all Native Americans. Sculptor Korzak was born in Boston into a family of Polish immigrants. Exposed to harshness of life from an early age, Korzak taught himself everything he knew about sculpting. His dedication to the art and work ethic was recognized at the 1939 World's Fair. Around this time, the prominent sculptor attracted the attention of Chief Henry Standing Bear, who invited Korzak to the Black Hills to carve the world's biggest mountain sculpture. The Lakota elders knew who they wanted to be the subject of the Grand Monument, Lakota warrior Crazy Horse. After much consideration, Korzak accepted the offer and dedicated the rest of his life to Crazy Horse Memorial. And so, in 1946, Korchak traveled to the Black Hills, and together, he and Chief Standing Bear chose the 600-foot mountain that would be carved. Both Korzak and Chief Henry Standing Bear agreed that the entire mountains would be needed to tell the story about dedication and spirit of the Lakota people. Once finished, Crazy Horse Memorial would be 641 feet long and 563 feet high. The sculptor knew he would not live to see the finished product of his carving. The sculptor died in 1982. He didn't live to see the mountain take the recognizable shape of the face of the fearless crazy horse, a part of the monument that was completed in 1998. Today, Crazy Horse Memorial is more than just the mountain carving and the mountain work area. Admission includes access to the Indian Museum of North America, the Native American Education and Cultural Center, and Sculptor Home and Studio.